Sport tonight, coming up, we profile Highlanders' second five, Sean Treby. So, let's start at the very beginning. Uh, a family game, rugby? Uh, yeah, my, my dad played. Um, my grandfather played as well. He was a really big rugby man, so it's always been there. Um, I actually started playing soccer when I was little, but... Um, How did that go down? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it, it, they were still supportive, but um, I think when I made the switch, they were equally as happy with the switch as well. And all my friends sort of... Um, play rugby so it was that's what I sort of grew to and I loved it ever since. Is this in Wellington? Uh, yeah, started um, playing for Tower in Wellington, my first club. And Does Murray Mixed is still yep, the club? That's the one, yeah, yeah. Been there, so I went to Tower College as well, so been a Tower man through the age of 10 I started, uh, moved to Wellington, so been there since. That's not a strong uh, rugby college, is it, Tower? No, it's, um, I sort of, coming out of primary, I was thinking about going to Wellington Coal or something a little bit stronger, but I decided oh, I'll just I'll stay in Tawa and just do my best there. And finally got picked up in the sort of in the systems, and so was, it went all right through there. It was actually quite a good move. So you got into the first fifteen at what sort of age? Oh, and I was I was in the sort of in the in the group at about fifteen, but made really the uh, first fifteen when I was six form at sixteen. So right as a midfielder, uh, I was sort of all over the place. I was sort of playing. Um, Sort of first five, uh, second five, centre. So I was sort of around thereabouts here. What competition did you play in up there that uh, tower? Did they play against St Pat's in the in the big teams, or is it in the second tier? Um, we we actually started in the second tier, but then we <laughs> didn't play so well, so we moved down to the third, um, and only made the semis there. So it was a little bit disappointing, but uh, you know I was still just I knew I was in the system, so I still stayed at tower and. Just hope for the best, really. Good Lord. Yeah. Yeah. I went to Porora College. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. I thought we played in the same grade, wouldn't we? Just yeah, would have, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, what about teammates you played with? Anyone else gone on um, and to a good level of football? Are you the star? <laughs> <laughs> um, to be honest, there's not a lot from Tower. Um, I, uh, the sort of some guys are playing maybe Tower Premiers now, but not a lot. It's sort of uh, a school that didn't really, I don't know, go too well at rugby, but. Yeah. I still stuck there. <laughs> yeah, well, great on your loyalty. Yeah. So, okay, when you, uh, what sort of age group team did you first break into? Wellington age group team. Um, I was six, uh, fifth form actually, uh, fifteen when I had gone to under under fifteens. There, mm -hmm. so I sort of yeah got got in the system quite early, which was good, and then sort of stayed in it from there. That um, was it a bit of a shock playing with a whole lot of other good players. Uh, no disrespect to the Tower team, but it would have been nice to have had people of your equal ability that sort of played along. Yeah, it was. Um, I remember playing with uh, Robbie Fruin and stuff like that when I was young. And so good Porter College boy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, so yeah, it was a lot different playing that kind of level. But um, yeah, I really enjoyed that kind of playing and playing with a lot more, you know, the established players and stuff like that. So it was really enjoyable. Yeah. So you went up through all the age group ranks in Wellington. Yep, I did. Um, I went through the you know seventeen, eighteens, um, then miss nineteens. Went to Colts straight away. So that's where I started going up the ranks here. There. Right, and did you settle into second five? How long did it take to settle into that midfield spot? Yeah, I was, I was actually playing wing under uh, 15s for a bit, so I was sort of wing second five, and uh, so I was playing there a bit, but then I decided I just want to go for second five, um, and then, yeah, so I really just established myself as a second five. What about uh, national selection, the national age group squads, when did they come knocking? Yeah, it was in my Colts year. Um, I wasn't really... I didn't really know about you know, if I was going to make 20s or not. And then, um, so I finally, they, he gave me a shot. Um, and I went to the trials and stuff and went all right there. So I made a team and was really uh, quite happy. And that's when my career started going up from there, really. Yeah. Who was the coach then? It was Dave Rennie. Yeah. Right. Yeah. He's, kept, he's picked a few good players, isn't yeah, he? Yeah, yeah. No, he's a good coach and I really enjoyed it there. Well, he was a second five himself, yeah. uh, midfielder. So did you have a lot of one on one with him? Yeah, he did. I think he helped me out a lot, actually. Um, he's, he's one of the uh, great backs coaches I feel and um, so I really enjoyed it under coaching under him and I think that's really you know when my career started taking off there and it was a good stepping stone for me. All right tell us about your World Cup experience the tournament itself how did you? Yeah it was it? actually awesome it was first like sort of a uh, rugby trip overseas for me and right. going to Japan which is something a bit new and different and um, I was it was great being in that environment really a lot a more professional environment and um, I really enjoyed it and you know to win it was Obviously awesome, mm -hmm. so yeah, it was just a great experience. And how many of that team now, All Blacks? There's a few, isn't there? Yeah, Zach Guilford, um, Aaron Cruden, 
So and a lot of super rugby players around. So yeah, we had quite a few players that now you know up that top level. And how did you find the quality of rugby you were playing? How would you sort of compare that with with domestic rugby here? Was it up with the NPCs? Yeah, it's probably about uh, NPC level. Mm -hmm. um, just because they're not as you know well developed uh, guys, mm -hmm. so it wasn't as physical, but it was still high skillful and really skillful players and quick rugby. So it was yeah, it was really good top um, rugby. Okay, a debut for Wellington uh, at, at NPC level. It's uh, what, what, who against where? It was actually uh, defending the shield against Otago at home. Well, you won that Wellington. one. <laughs> yeah, we, yeah, it was actually quite a tight match. So, but yeah, it was it was a great experience as well um, to get in that kind of environment. And, Did um, you start that day or? I did start mm. at, at 12, so yeah, it was, it was just a great experience, but especially, you know, to the shield, you look up at when you're a little kid watching the game, so mm. it was great to be part of that first up. It's great that you still feel that way. Was that after your World Cup or before? That was uh, straight after. So yeah, it was yeah, really close, wasn't it? That's when it started happening for me, yeah. Mm. And how did you find the pace of uh, NBC rugby? Was it, uh, do you adapt quite quickly, do you think? Um, yeah, the first couple of games were a bit of a shock, just a lot different level to what I'm used to but um, I, I sort of you know got used to it and started to really enjoy it and I think it sort of you know I fit in quite well to the team and stuff so yeah I really started enjoying after that. So where did you fit into the Hurricanes uh, set up? Um, well I haven't really been part of the Hurricanes I've, I sort of I was going for it the next year but because uh, Jamie Joseph was my coach he approached me early in my second year um, to have a come down to Otago, so. You hadn't been in the wider development at all? Um, no, I didn't no. get in my first year, so it was straight to the Highlanders. And he sort of approached me early on, so. Um, you grabbed that one? Yeah, I <laughs> thought, yeah. Nonu and all those kind of players were in my position at Hurricane, so I was, I was just quick to jump on the air. Right. Okay, so last year, obviously, was when, when you debuted, you made great progress. Uh, were you, again, uh, another adaptation to get to a different level of rugby altogether? Yeah, exactly. It was another step up. And but again, I, I enjoyed it thoroughly again. Um, just another uh, level of players, uh, level sk skillful wise and physicality. The South African boys are, are huge, <laughs> so it was really it's just a great experience, and I loved it at the moment. Some good second fives around to mark, aren't they? I can think of a couple. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah, every sort of team I sort of um, went up against, there was a, another challenge or a Springbok or an Aussie there. So, but I, I just enjoyed the challenges really. Mm. Do you have a plan for each opponent, like one for Sonny Bill and one for someone else, or do you have just a, uh, a method of attacking whoever is you're playing? Um, you, you sort of always have plans, but uh, in the end it sort of just comes down to playing your game, doing what you do best, and it shouldn't really matter who you're playing against. You know, you're always trying to smash the other guy, really, so <laughs> even if I'm playing the top or you know whoever else is, you're always trying you know, to dominate them or get over them, so yeah. And you came into a team that enjoyed early success last year, so you hit the ground running. Yeah, exactly. You know, we've had a pretty good start to the season. We had a pretty good season, really. Just uh, so it was a bit disappointing in the way we uh, we finished. I think we had a bye, then we had the last four games. We really uh, sort of set us up um, well for that, and uh, it's a pity that it didn't quite work out. But you know, this season we we started well again. So, but you just had a bye. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so you know what to expect, <laughs> yeah, eh? Exactly. I'm, we talked about it a lot last year, and, but I'm sure we'll be up to it this year. You were injured early part of the season. And what was what was the problem then? Um, yeah, I've had a little bit of a bad run lately. Um, I had cartilage on my right leg, um, which sort of, I only had two games for Wellington last season, so it was a bit of a long road back. But um, And then just as I come back from that, my left knee went and I got arthritis and that, so that took a few How more How old weeks. are you? Yeah, no, 23. <laughs> it's a bit of a worry, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, it is. But <laughs> What's the long-term prognosis? I think you just have to look after it. Yeah, it's pretty much looking after it. Mm. Um, it's a bit weird how I get it at this age, but oh, well, I'll just have to deal with it. And is it a family thing? Do you? Um, no, not really. Yeah. It's sort of out of the blue, but, you know, I just have to deal with it the best I can, mm. really, yeah. So that's, uh, between those two, that slowed your entry into this season? Yeah, so yeah, so it took a while for me to give it. It was a bit frustrating at times, um, especially for my arthritis. I didn't know how it was going to you know, affect me and all that kind of, so a little bit scary at times, but you know, I'm glad, glad to be back out there. Were you a good watcher, I mean, especially when some guy gets off the Chiefs plane, <laughs> <laughs> fills in your game yeah, and does pretty yeah. good? <laughs> uh, exactly, you went really well, so um, 
no, I'm not the best watcher. <laughs> um, it was sort of frustrating at times, but um, I knew I just had to buy my time and, you know, if I get the opportunity, I just have to take it. So that's what I try to do. Yeah. And, and Jamie and Simon have been obviously loyal because as soon as you were fit, you, you got back into the team again and, and back on the back on the horse. Yeah, exactly. So a lot of credit goes with them as well. So I just have to th say thanks to them. And um, it was just showing a lot of law to me for, you know, playing me straight away, which is... You know, good of them and I'm just pleased that it happened like that. And how's the sort of feeling around the team compared with this time last year where you also started well? Is it um, brimming with confidence? Yeah, definitely. Um, there's a set of things. Um, <laughs> but yeah, the team's again uh, very excited and another great start. We know it's a long season though, so we just have to play each game as it comes and hopefully we're there at the end. Mm. Our Blues coming out Friday, they got a point to prove, but we say that every week about them, but you never know what you're going to throw at you. Yeah, well they, they've got a lot of good players, so uh, we know that we can't just go easy on them, they're not going to die, so we're just going to have to come out, play our game and just you know take it from right from the whistle. Alright, let's talk about outside of rugby, uh, what was your um, career path, if you like, if a rugby wasn't it? Yeah, I was, I was going to Massey for straight out of college um, to study exercise science I was doing that for a bit and yeah, a bit of part time painting as well so <laughs> that wasn't too fun <laughs> yeah that wasn't the best but um, yeah that's what I was doing at the start and then sort of got in the academy system and that took over and yeah that's when that kind of fizzled out <laughs> what about when you're down here uh, obviously there's a university on the back door do you think you'll pick up some studies or? Uh, yeah I've definitely been thinking about it um, haven't done anything yet but it uh, could be possible in the near future Right. What about um, recreation when you're not uh, kicking the ball around? <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, to be honest, I don't have too much hobbies or anything like that. But I just enjoy just uh, relaxing with my mates and just have a go and watch you know a movie or something like that. So. And who you crash with here? Is is a landlord? Yeah. Uh, we've got, I'm with uh, Lima Sopwang and Cade Pookie. Tell me about those guys, those <laughs> flatmates. Yeah. No, nah, they're all right. Um, Lima, he doesn't cook much, so. He's a bit of a young boy, so we have to look after him a bit there, but no, we, we share the um, cooking, me and Kate, and yeah, it goes right, actually. It's quite fun. Yeah. Uh, what about, um, tell us something about yourself that the team might not know. Some sort of quirky habit or hobby <laughs> or... <laughs> oh, that's a hard one. Um, I suppose I've been living at home for a while, which is not the best, um, back at home. Um, so when I first uh, flattered, that was down here in Dunedin, so it's a little secret I'd tell Jimmy Pill. <laughs> <laughs> Do your family come down to see a uh, great stadium and everything and uh, playing at home? Yeah, they, they've come down uh, once last year and I think they're going to make a trip again down this year later on. Hopefully I'm still playing by then, but still fit. And uh, yeah, so they come down and start very much behind me and towards the yeah, do you enjoy playing the Hurricanes in particular? Um, two wins, I think, since you've uh, a couple of wins against them since you've been down here. Yeah, exactly. It's uh, I think my first oh, my debut for the Highlanders was against them as well up there, and that was a uh, a great way to kick it off. Really, <laughs> to beat them was a good feeling. So yeah, it was good. And long term future, I mean, at your age, you probably don't plan more than what a season ahead. Are you committed to Wellington and the Highlanders next season or not? Uh, well, I'm off contract at the moment, but uh, yeah, that's I just have to sort that out soon, really. <laughs> Something I'll be looking for, yeah. So you just uh, one season at a time? Uh, yeah, it's yeah, it's sort of look at my two years at a time, really. That's what I try and do, and go from there. Yeah. And loving this professional life? Oh yeah, it's it's great. Uh, couldn't wish for anything more, really. This is what I uh, wanted to do when I was younger, and so it's been awesome. <laughs>